Hi, YouTubers. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate um, using a spreadsheet to calculate range using a mil dot scope. For those of you who've uh, used mil dot scopes before, you'll recognize this familiar uh, calculation, which is uh, the range calculation, which is range in meters equal target size in meters times the scope magnification times 100 and all of that in parentheses divided by the target size in mils which is the uh, number of mil dots that the uh, target takes up. Um, notice that this is in meters. I know a lot of us uh, people in the U.S. actually like to work in inches or feet so uh, these are the conversion factors for uh, foot to meters and meters to feet and we'll actually implement that into this calculation to make it a little more straightforward for us. So you'll notice right here I have the uh, calculation um, with the conversions in there. So now it's range in feet equals target size in feet times 0 .3048, which is at uh, one foot um, equal to 0 .3084 eight meters and then times the scope magnification times 100 divided by the target size in mils and then we finally multiply that all by 3.28083 to get uh, the meters converted to feet. The fields we're going to be using in the spreadsheet to make the calculations are target size in inches which in this um, example I'm using 12 inches target size in feet which we get from the target size in inches and I'm going to stop the video here so you can see the actual uh, close-up view of the, the equation used for that, really simple equation. And we're using the target size in mils which in this case, uh, this example, it's four mils, which is four mil dots that the target uh, took up. Scope magnification times 100, since I'm using a times four scope, uh, multiply that times 100, you get 400 there. Then we have the resulting uh, range in feet, which in the next slide I'll show you the uh, equation I entered to uh, obtain that number. So let me stop the video there so you can see that slide. And finally the range in yards which that number comes from the uh, following calculations which you'll see in this next slide. And with all this, uh, these numbers and cal uh, equations entered, you'll see how quickly you can come up with the, uh, the range in feet and range in yards just by answering a couple values. So right now we have those values there. Um, the range in feet and yards is based on uh, uh, four times magnification scope, uh, target size in those of four, um, target size um, actually measured up to be one feet, which is 12 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here and say I had a target that was 4 inches, 104 there. And just enter. You'll notice the target size and feet automatically updated to 0.3333. Um, say the target size in mils was uh, 5 mils. We'll enter that. And the scope magnification if I was shooting at, say, a 9 times scope because I have a variable scope, so I'll just go ahead and adjust it up to 9 times, which 9 times 100 is 900. Went to that. And you'll notice that the range in feet and range in yards automatically is calculated, which makes it really quick when you're out in the field. Um, you don't want to have to keep entering an equation into a calculator uh, to come up with these numbers. So um, 
for this demo, I'm actually using my laptop with an Excel spreadsheet. But out in the field, I know most of you have um, palm tops or cell phones with the uh, mobile Excel on it. You can enter the same exact spreadsheet into that and use it in the same way. And it's actually really portable and it works really quick. So thanks for watching. And here's the example of uh, using the spreadsheet in my phone for the uh, mill dot calculation. Um, so you, can, uh, you can see I have all the same fields there as in the uh, desktop spreadsheet. So I can uh, easily do the same thing just on my cell phone. Thanks for watching.